episode two of the walkthrough continuing on um basically right now we're still you know unlocking more areas of the map you know we're not doing straight up content yet we're not fighting really anything we're getting graces stuff like that and we're just going to continue on doing that we got one piece of armor like right now we're trying to get all of this unlocked i know there's some places we can't access yet but we're doing our best to get as much as we can done we're also going to get bach real quick um he's over here this is him right here Okay, you let him come that? out. Mm -hmm. Some clue. You will just thank you. I was put and I ended up. Oh, when they and so this is all I hope. Or I, I can then. Run. Poor Bach. Run. I know some people don't do his side quest because it gives you nothing. That's a terrible way to look at it. One of the only good people in the game. So we're going to grab the skill and just keep running to the next grace. Um, there's a skill over here. We're going to try to get it, but if it gets too dangerous, we're going to dip out really fast because there is a crab. that was close guys okay so now let's go get this grace it's right over here let's top our flasks off I did not mean to jump up that high. Well, I did mean to jump up that high, but I didn't mean to land up there. Uh, just be careful. This ballista will shoot at you. He's kind of inaccurate, but you still need to be aware of it. You can get hit by it. Um, I've only been hit by it once, but still, it's dangerous. So basically, once we knock out Limgrave, this is the area we'll be doing. Uh, skip a Arena for now. We'll get into her side quest later. But there is some good things over here. We're going to get the, um, the Morning Star. Excellent weapon. There's a couple loots we can grab. Grab the Morning Star. Come over here, grab this. Um, there are some, gl uh, not glow stones, rune fragments up here. It allows you to make rainbow stones. So you guys can grab that and another skill. God, this weapon has no range. It makes it so hard to hit. Mighty shot. Very good. <clears throat> Um, there is a Knight Rider that spawns here at night, so just be aware of that. Okay. So now we're going to talk to this merchant. We definitely want that. Um, there's nothing really we need from him unless you want the smithing stones. Um, but we do need 2,000 ruins to buy this. 
<laughs> okay, I think we go this way, or we turn around and go up the... No, we do go this way. Okay, so first things first, we're going to grab this map fragment. Okay, so now stick to the right. That's what we want to be careful of. But we want to grab this. Just be careful, because there is a golem aimed at us, trained at us, trained on us. Okay, we're also going to grab um, an incantation over here. I think it's a little bit further down this way. Um, this is going to be kind of hard. You can buy a kukri from uh, the merchant if you'd like. But we're just going to try. So, wind up. Got him. Um, he stays pretty close in proximity. So, if you do miss, you can just run back over and hit his ass again. Okay. Let's go rest of the grace so we can drop this aggro. And also, we can memorize spells. We can't use it yet, but we can put it on, that's for sure. We don't even have a seal yet. Okay, so now we're going to head up here. We're going to grab a shield and a spell. There's like a grace up here. Here somewhere. Hold on. Let me look at my map. Church, and then we're going to go down this line, basically. Nope. Wrong way. What's that two at? One. Hold on. Where's this two spot at? Oh, there it is. Let's get rid of you. So, oh, I accidentally hit the wrong way. You can grab a shitty shield. Watch out for the frenzy rats. There are some late game um, loot pickups here as well. But there is a shield and a frenzy burst or something. Not frenzy burst, I'm sorry. Um, Flame of the frenzy, that's what it's called. There's the shield. All right, where's the hell's Flame of the frenzy? Uh, why can't I find this? Um, oh, it's in a church. Where the hell is this thing? Oh, there it is. I was church blind. So let's grab this. If you are a faith build, that is going to be your nuke in the beginning of the game. Um, Honestly, you can use it all the way up to the end of the game. It's a fantastic spell. Okay, and then there's going to be a grace up here. I do think it gets... You can... I mean, you can use it to late game, but obviously you're going to get more and more spells. Okay, that's too high. We gotta find the drop off point. Here it is. So we're taking this bridge. Oh my goodness. I was getting stuck. If you wanna try getting a guardian sword spear. You can try killing them. There's a couple of them over here. You might get lucky. Um, I don't think there's anything down there. Let's go. Let's just run by see if we can see anything, guys. 
I think it's just a Trini's Lily. There is a skeleton in here, so be careful. This is an excellent place to farm for bandits' curve swords. So let's grab this. Sacred tier, and let's grab all these golden centipedes. Let's snag this. Okay, and now let's get rid of that. And that. And we're just gonna kinda go down the line. We're not gonna do any of the ruins. But we can at least, you know, go down the line hitting all the churches, grabbing all the sacred tiers. You can go and grab the rune fragments if you want. But I feel like you will have more than enough by the time you get to where you need to be going. Or whenever you need to start crafting them. I do grab this one loot though. Okay. Just coming from the side so you don't have to deal with the knights. Grab another sacred tier. Okay. And now we're going all the way to the bottom and we are going to buy um, the, the lantern. Because no one got time to put a torch in their off hand. Ooh, and I think this is the area I was looking for earlier when I said there's a smithing stone back here. I just gotta remember where the hell it is. Ah, I think I see it. <laughs> Golden Ruin 1, that was worth it. Touch the grace. Uh, we need 1,800. Oof, there's a couple things I want from him. Let's see what that gets me. So we definitely want that. Um, let's grab all three of those. And I want that, but mm, it is what it is. I got... Have a safe trip. Alright, so now we can throw this on. Okay. Hold on. I don't think I'm going up here yet. Church of Ella, that's where we're going next. So let's uh, take a second, upgrade our flask. Oh, I can still do it. And now we're gonna talk to Kale. And we're going to purchase this, this, and this. And then about the howling. Next time you don't fret. I just have. Goodbye. Okay. Finger snap. Fort Hyatt West. We're going back to the Mistwood Ruins to get Blythe. And we're going to get y'all one of the best weapons in the game. One of the best early weapons you can get in the game. Open for business. That's probably patches. OK, 
Okay, so he's on that back tower, so we want to go towards the back. So he's going to hop down back, like, right here. And you just want to finger snap? Oh, I'll just talk to him. The name's Bl he fled, so come tell me if you I can offer you. Darren in need of... Darren in need of a fit. Okay. So now we can dip out of here. Real quick, while I'm thinking about it, let's go to the first step. Okay. Pull out your horse, go straight behind you. Just look for the spirit springs. I missed it, but it's still fine. We're just coming down here to grab this. Jumping up. Jumping up again. And now we got the gold pickle foul foot. And now we can go to Agil Lake South. And like I said, we're going to go grab that weapon. And the only reason we're doing this um, is because we aren't going to be doing any of the fighting really um we're going to throw the mornings it's okay i just have to two-hand it and i can use it okay so now we can go in but since we talked to blithe we can just summon him in We're waiting for him to get in before we start fighting. If you have a shield, you're gonna be better off. Nothing in this cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. Oh my goodness. We're, we're trying to get Blythe to take aggro and then come in with like a jumping attack here and there. Don't get overly aggressive. why we're not getting overly aggressive. I'm trying to get a bleed off. And we got him. I did all the work. Bloodhound saying, can I even use it? I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm stuck it in. Cannot. I need more dexterity. It's fine. We got a decent weapon enough. Uh, make sure you talk to Blythe. You get, um, I think, a somber too. How to work for it? Don't say I'm not. Yep. Oh, and he's gonna tell you to go talk to E.G. That's the time we part. That's the time we part. Yep. Okay. So next. Ah, <sighs> da, da 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 da. All right, let's see what we're doing next. She's still there. I think you got to beat Godric to get her out of there. Make sure my flasks are all good. They are. Get rid of that. Okay, did that? Did that? Level up. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Lyurnia of the Lakes. You know, while we're over here, we might as well grab the Strength Tier and the Horsey uh, Talisman. Fuck you, bats. Okay, it's over here. I know one of them's over there. I always have trouble finding, like, the other one. Uh, no, it's not over there, is it? It's down here. One of them's down here. No, I am tripping, guys. 
Why am I? No, it is up there. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay, I was right the first time. So we're gonna just run up. Grab the strength, not crystal tier. Grab the arteria leaf. And dip before he can kill us. Oh. And then we can keep running this way to grab the horsey talisman. Oh. I didn't even kill it. He killed it. The horsey talisman basically, if you're on a horse, you do more damage kind of thing. Um, Golden Vow is over here as well. We're going to grab that a little bit later in the game. Because we got to fight at night to get it. Golden Vow, the Ash of War, not the uh, Incantation. Whoa, where, where? Is it further down? Yes, it is further down. I'm tripping. 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 Nope. Oh, I almost died there. I think I'm gonna have to go from War Master. No, I won't. I'm like 90% sure it should be over here. What in the hay? I think it's up here, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely over this way. It's been a while. I usually get these when I'm more over here, but I was thinking about it. So I just wanted to snag them. Okay. Back to Stormhill. So now we got a couple talismans. Enhanced charge, damage reducing. We're actually going to put this on because it's also in our thorny correct. And you can't go wrong with it. You know, more damage. We can do some charged heavies and merc some people. So at this point, we got a bunch of the map uncovered. We got some of Kaelid uncovered. Um, we just got a bunch of stuff, guys. And we're not even starting the game yet. Um, we're still getting some more weapons, you know, some more skills. Storm Assault. Uh, not Storm Assault. Uh, Storm Wall. Works against physical projectiles, too. So you can parry, you know, uh, not, uh, Beast Claw, Bestial Sling. You can parry that, so when Grank's throwing it at you, you can parry it. Fire bombs, arrows, stuff like that. So we are just bypassing Stormvale Castle without beating Godric. Okay. Now we get to meet Thops. And we're already at, what, seven flasks? Make sure you have ten ruins, so kill a sheep or something. You then believe it or not? For a... Well, you're a true my name. Presume only... And now you can buy Thops. Um... You can buy Thops's, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, so we are gonna go here now. Um, before we actually head over there, though. Uh, nope, not down, not down, not down. Am I really stuck? Okay, hold on. There we go. Academy Square. Why, why am I having trouble? Okay, because I'm going the wrong way. That would help. 
like facing flips. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. No, I was supposed to go down, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. I thought this was a way to a cave. I was thinking of some different, different area in the game. So we're gonna run in here and steal some shit. Just be careful. We're kind of. Um, there was one more piece of loot in there, but I don't want to deal with them right now because. We're just low leveled and they will murk us. And <laughs> as a wretch, you don't have any armor, making the game a little bit harder. Okay. You're surprised no matter why don't, oh, don't up. So Crystal Dart, we definitely want that. And then the Astrologer set and Kite Shield, also infinite arrows. Um, lantern again, but we already got one. Okay, so first, we're gonna go this way. We wanna gotta go northwest. We're gonna, or, yeah, northwest. We're gonna skip that for now because we're gonna go grab a grace first. Just be careful, stuff does summon up around here. I just want the grace so I don't have to deal with all this. So we're going to drop aggro, have everything drop aggro on us. Right over my head. Okay, so now we can go back and grab the map. But we just grab that just in case we die. So we're going to run past it at first. Try to pull these guys a little bit off. And sprint. Got it. So we can get that spirit calling bell. But we're honestly going to wait a bit to get it because of revenant spawns. And we don't want to deal with them. So we can just do this. Okay, make sure that's done. So now there is like a... Um, a teleporter we want to hit. I remember this uncovering more of the map. That's okay. Make sure I'm not going somewhere else. Yep, so teleporter. Um, just be careful. The revenant spawns right here. You'll see him in a second. Right here. Right there. I think that's a smithing two right there. But revenants are scary at this point in the game. So we're going to run past the grace real quick, grab this meeting place map. We don't need it, I'm going to show you guys where you need to go. So as you can see, still more map stuff, we're going to come back and grab that map fragment now, but instead of going through the center, just go through the side. You know, we'll skip all that BS, just one enemy, but you can pick up the blue Blue white wooden shield, which you know what I should honestly put a shield on. Hundred guard boost. I'll still be two hand my weapon so I can use it, but Okay. There is right underneath us a skill, but it's not worth getting right now. It's just it's not very good, and I doubt you have anything to knock it down from its perch. You do have to jump on these roofs roofs. So grab the golden seed, and we're still keeping. Um, also, we're going to talk to Hoslo while we're out here. Where is Hoslo? I'm trying to remember.
Where's Sad Boy at? Oh well. Let's grab this first. Now we got all this. Look, guys, we even started the game. This is how much of the map we have uncovered. And we're still going to uncover all this and all of this. Okay, here we go. What, where to next? Notes. My handy dandy notebook. So we want to go to this gazebo right here. So we also want to find Hoslo, which he should be like here-ish. Just keep an eye out. There he is. Who? The whereabouts? They laid the tail I diap. They, the tail eye. They, the tail eye. Okay, we got his stuff taken care of. Okay, I know there's a grace. Where's it at? It's like right up here ish somewhere, I think. Um, there's also a shiny bugger. God. I miss having a sword. Gotcha, Jesus. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm turned back around on myself now. Okay, this way. I just wanted to find that grace though, but I'm not seeing it. Where is that grace at? Oh well. We'll come back for it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's use this. Grab the map. See, told you we we're gonna unlock all that. Oh, nope. Grace right behind us. I need to start checking my notes more and stop trying to do this shit off memory. So I do like to go through and, um... Get, if, if you're using a somber somber weapon a unique weapon I am going to go and out of my way and show you how to get a pl plus 10 weapon pretty early on um, we're probably gonna do one two three four five six um, seven is the hardest to find eight nine ten and then you'll just have to wait to get your seven I am an old perhaps you he has infinite one twos We'll find a three and a four, so don't worry about buying it. Oh, and I'm a, if you come to my am <clears throat> Unless you really want to, you can, but I will show you like where to um, get those. Uh, we could go up there right now, get Horfrost to stop. And, ooh. And there's a grace, but right now I don't want to have to deal with those arrow barrages, so we're actually not going to do that at this moment. We are over here, though. We're going to grab some... The dicks... No, intelligence not. I'm sorry. Should be right up here. Just watch out for the hands. And I'm going to dip out. And I'm going to go... Oh! Did not see you there, bub. OK, 
Okay, so we do want to make our way. What was it? Here, but first we're going to hit here. Because we're going to go grab that somber four for you guys real quick. So we're gonna grab the four, then the three. So now we have a one, two, about to grab a three, and we have a four. And pretty soon, I'm going to show you guys where to get a somber five as well. So, by Godric, you'll have a plus five weapon. And we're going to go grab like 100,000 ruins as well. So you'll be level 40. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so next, we're going all the way over here. Um, there is some Miranda Sprouts, like, down here, if you guys want them. But it's just those little plants that spew poison, so really not that useful. There is more graces we could be getting on the way, like, right, um... There's a spirit spring like right here and we could go up and hit that grace. But I just, I don't see the point in doing it right now. We're going to come back and hit these levels in their entirety and get, get those graces. So right now we're just, you know, getting the main stuff like church of vows and whatnot, you know, getting you somber stones to upgrade your weapons. Unfortunately, smithing stones are a little bit harder to get the upgrade materials for. So I'm, uh, my regular weapon boys like me i'm gonna be using the nagakiba this run i think i'm using the nagakiba i might switch to bandits or scavengers curve swords we'll see what happens but yeah we'll we'll We'll, we'll get you guys where you need to go. Okay, we're going to grab the Miranda Sprouts. Just to have them. But I pr I'm not going to be using them. I don't know, maybe someone out there really likes the Sprouts and they want to use them. These are the Miranda Sprouts, just so you guys know. If you do shoot poison at at them, they will die and you won't have to do anything to them. They'll just blow up. Kind of a pointless summon if you ask me. You know what, I'm right here. I don't need to do that. Well, it's going to fast travel, but I'm already here. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Yep, we're just going straight to the Church of Owls. Not making any pit stops. If you want, try to kill these fire guys to get their armor. Fire monk. See these bitches, but up oh, there he is. We don't do enough damage yet, like 104. So let's grab this grace.
Also, you can get your sins forgiven here. Um, so if you, like, accidentally jump on an NPC or, you know, you accidentally swing at one while fighting an enemy, you can get yourself, um, absolved here. You just need something called Celestial Do to actually get yourself forgiven, I guess. And you get to meet Muriel, the turtle. And his name's not Muriel, his name's Uguay. Let's be real. His legs aren't what they used to be. And y'all just killed a bunch of turtles to get, um, turtle flesh. Oh, you are free. I would serve if you find it. Unless, in which case, and we can give him a scroll. Study sorcery. Study incantations. Okay, so next, let's see what we got on the agenda. So first step, we're going to go grab you guys a twin blade, teleport to Kaelid, and get some stuff there. We gotta talk to this his bitch ass. Oh, you made it and offered. Oh, before I fear you, I don't. Why not? Ah, to join the run with the two. They are um, decrepit. Worse yet. So, what's the? Aren't you so? Then you must for without with the two. Okay, now we go. There's a dragon over there, so be careful. What are those noises people are making? So we want to kind of come in from the south. Because they got two areas like this, and you want to make sure you're grabbing this one first. Because the other one is a teleporter. Twin blade. I'm gonna hop out. There's a couple items around here that we're gonna try snagging up. Oh, they're like praying. Golden rune two. Stone sword key. So you do want to have full health for what we're about to do. Okay, where the hell is this thing at now? There it is. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Fucking hey, bro. I got too cocky. Wasting pre precious seconds of our walkthrough, guys. The dogs have no damn respect. And my souls are nowhere to be found. Oh, they're there. The flame of a gill. That's what he was saying, if you guys were curious. Alright, so you can either kill all these rats, or you can do what I'm about to do, and just book it through. You have iframes while opening the door. So what we're going to do is open it, and block. Um, alternatively, most people can tank all the hits before you die. So there's that. You can just tank the hits. 
but I'd rather be safe than sorry because I have no armor except a face mask that doesn't do a lot. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is heal. And we're not grabbing anything here. We are just booking. Because these things suck. And that's why I rolled. Because usually... Oh my god. He sniped my ass. Luckily, we spawn right in here. Wow, that's the first time I've ever died making that run. You guys are seeing a bunch of my firsts. Now let's try this one more time. There we go. So let's we we're, we are gonna grab this one loot because we're gonna want that rock grease. Okay, so now we can take the shield off. Okay, uh, immediately hit a left. So we want this. Rotten stray ashes. And we're gonna grab the grace. Okay, so this is gonna be the biggest pain in the ass in the game. Because we don't really have anything to hit um, that yet. Um, so we're just gonna do our best here, guys. So we know he comes back like right here. Do I got anything that will help me yet? That's the question. Let's try this. Oh man, I didn't see those marionettes. Oh my goodness, I thought I had the throwing daggers on, guys. Alright, so let's line up right here. It's just poison armament, so if you guys cannot do this, don't worry too much about it. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, so now we're gonna run this way. Did I pass it yet? Nope, we have not passed it yet. So now we're going to go get you guys your somber five. So now you will have a plus five weapon if you're using a unique weapon like Bloodhound's Fang. Or, you know, we will be getting more weapons, obviously, as the game progresses. But you can, you know, you depending on what weapon you're using, you might have a very highly overtuned weapon for the early game. Uh, I need to go this way. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. When we continue, we will finish up knocking out Kaled and everything. And then I'm pretty sure pretty soon after that, we're going to get started. Actually, you know, knocking out some of this. Why can't I teleport? You have been trapped. Um, yeah, so we will continue on in the next episode. Have a great night.